It's unfortunate but true that there are a lot of viruses out there that could be installed on your work PCs and you need to be concerned about this and do everything that you can to protect yourself. Uh, a virus can do anything from stealing your information, your client data, um, to completely destroying your PC and uh, you, you know, obviously you could lose a ton of data, you could lose money uh, due to this. So it's important to do everything you can to protect yourself from this. Now Microsoft does have some features built into Windows 10 that are designed to prevent you from most viruses. And Microsoft does, uh, you know, keep, keep basically keep abreast of the different things that are happening in the market, different viruses, different threats that are out there. So what they do is they have a, uh, basically a program installed on Windows 10 by default called Windows Defender. Windows Defender is an antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-malware um, program, and it constantly runs in the background unless you disable it. It will also give you notifications for things, so if you're going to download a program from the internet and Microsoft doesn't know what it is, Windows Defender may um, you know, prevent you from installing that unless you override it. Um, so those are some features that are there by default. If you want to go into Windows Defender and manually scan for viruses, that's something you can do as well. So you can just go into Cortana or search and type Windows and you should see Windows Defender somewhere near the top there. So this is going to do scans um, frequently. As you can see here, I didn't ask it to do a scan, but it did a scan. This was about 24 hours ago, it did, it did a scan. You can come in here and do a scan manually, do a quick or full scan of the system. You can check to make sure that um, the system is up to date so that it knows about the latest viruses. And then you can also go and take a look at your history. So uh, this is not the most comprehensive virus protection that there is. Um, but it is, you know, it, it is good. It's definitely good that it's on there and that you don't have to pay anything extra to use it. So definitely if you are experiencing some issues and you think that there may be a virus on your system, go ahead and come into Windows Defender, do a full scan, and it should pick up that virus and should be able to remove it for you. Let's take a quick look at the settings in Windows Defender just so we can take a look and see what options they have. So you can see this is in settings and update and security. Under here it's got its own section for Windows Defender. So you want to make sure that all of these options are on. So we have real-time protection which means that again it's constantly running stopping malware from being installed on your system. Cloud-based protection which basically Microsoft tries to keep up to date of any new viruses, any new threats that are out there. So if you have cloud-based protection on there, you'll have the benefits of all of the uh, information that Microsoft has currently on different viruses that are out there, rather than just the last known virus whenever you turn this off. Now you also have automatic sample submission. What this does is it sends information up to Microsoft to help them to learn about threats that they may not know about. So you can turn this feature off if you don't want Microsoft looking at your system. Um, so this this does help them to you know be aware of other viruses. Um, so but it is not mandatory for you to have that on. Now you can also add exclusions here. What this does is it essentially, if Windows Defender believes some piece of uh, software that you have installed is a virus and you know for a fact that it's not, you can add an exclusion so that it will not prevent you from using that application. 